Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Horizon Forbidden West Bunny Shore DLC playthrough where I found a couple of data points around that uh, area. I just had to, well, for some of them, go a bit outside of the area I explored during the main quest in the previous episode. And there were actually some data points that I was near them or close during the main quest but i just didn't uh, see them so yeah i'm gonna read a couple of them again depending how long they're gonna be i'll probably just keep some of them for another episode because i'm thinking if i'm gonna do this main quest maybe i'm gonna bump into more data points and if there are gonna be a lot of data points then it's gonna be a lot of reading so i'm gonna actually start with this one at the bottom so I don't forget about it. And it's chat body daily check-in. Loading chat body version 6.5, your automated journal companion. Loading chat body 6.5, connection secured. Chat body. Good afternoon, Harry. It's time for your daily check-in. Required by user underscore mama bear 354. What did you learn in school today? Harry. Same stuff of yesterday, I guess. Chat buddy. Please describe your lessons, Harry. Harry. Ugh. Well, in Sky Class, we learned about metallurgic and mining. Also, Vast Silver, the AI that came alive and got captured. Chat buddy. What did you think? What did you think of the material? Harry. Don't know why they took the. Vast silver away would have been cool to talk to a real AI. I bet it's nice. Maybe it spent time with me for real and then I wouldn't need everybody else and my mom wouldn't get really mad that I was bothering her and make some stupid program check in on me and ask me the same question every day. Chat buddy. Thank you for sharing, Harry. Automatic reminder. Please ensure all homework assignments are completed. Harry. Ugh, yeah, okay. Logged off, closing application. Error, process interrupted. Connection unstable, deinitializing. Unknown connection established. Error, user unknown. It would have been cool to talk to you too, Harry. Ooh, okay, looks like the mama really did connect afterwards. Alright, that was kind of painful to read. I'm pretty sure it was like. They try to do slang and AI. I'm supposing he meant the AI and it was written AI. No, the eyesight. So that was yeah, trippy. Anyway, next one. Layla's place. Dear whoever find this note, I would like you to know that this note is to tell you that my house is fully open to you and I would like to you to know that all of the cupboards are full of food. You are also free to use any of the things I have at home. Just please don't go in my room. I didn't have a chance to clean it. Your Cecily, Layla. Okay, that's nice, I guess. Cyan Lush. Lana. Drinks afterwards tonight? Cynthia. Sorry, babe, can't. I want... I want to recreate Verbania latest All Gold Bloom Bath self hollow. She promoted the new old Ultra Hydro sun Sunkissed Sea Bomb and it's so glam. Lana. Please tell me you're not dying harding that's cam that's cam. Simitia. Ugh, it's not a scam. I wouldn't know because I tried them all and my skin is flawless. Red, red tide, sargassum wave. But most glam for my skin tone so far is cyan lush. No quash. Lana. Girl, remember to die off that killed all the fishes. That stuff literally poison. Cynthia. Only if you slack join the bath. Verbina was giving us instructs in the latest verb hollow log and she data corrupted. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, leaving LA. Well, I always thought that if I live to see the end of days, I'd ride it out in my crummy apartment behind the scan and save. But here I am, instead, crammed into an evac center, leaving you behind. But I'll miss you, LA. I'll miss the glare of your late afternoon sunlight when I get off my shift. 
I'll miss cheering the losing team on Sundays at the MacBook or Stadium. I'll miss trying to see stars through your endless hollows, every late night taco truck run, early morning hangovers, your beaches, the surf, the way the waves crash or the sand, like they want to climb right into the city and join the fray. I'll even miss that one guy that seems to be on every corner trying to make a quick buck with shitty holo card tricks. And most of all, I'll miss that feeling. The one scattered between every boulevard and back alley. The one everyone who calls you home knows, no matter where they come from or what language they speak with their grandma on Sundays. That one. Hopeful feeling we're, that we're all reaching towards something bigger, better. In those final hours, when the hollows went dark and the sirens blared, I knew it was over for real. But LA, I want you to know, I'll miss you forever. Okay, maybe one more. Beat algorithms in luxury. Data corrupted. Science of algorithm can be subtle. For example, algo-generated content may have started affecting your personal or professional relationships. Perhaps you find yourself hiding your VR lenses from concerned family. This isn't a battle you need fight alone. Our exclusive clinic discreetly assists algorithm vis victims from early to end stage dependency. The complete co program spares no expense, offering cutting edge ocular rejuvenation and 12 star platinum certified stimulation withdrawal and ultra dissociation syndrome therapies while a highly trained support staff is always on hand to service your recovery. All of this is provided on site at our luxurious private estate. Once you have transferred the non-negotiable rehabilitation fee, your membership will entitle you to data corrupted. Of course it would. Right, I'm gonna keep the last two for another episode for now. And I'm um, at this campfire well, the first campfire that we found while we went with Seiko towards the tower. And yeah, looks like there's a question mark over here. There's some ruins here. So found the ruins. And that's pretty much that I explored while flying for now. So yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna run towards it's end. I'm fine by it. Still a bit rough to get used with the flying controls, to be honest. So for now, I'm just gonna run. And I have a feeling we're gonna get on the flying mount anyway for this main quest. Now, there were some brim shines as well that I kind of ignored. I got some of them, but some of them I just let them be. Because again, I need a flying mount to get to them. And it's kind of a bit annoying to get on and off. And to be honest, I'm not seeing anything from the gear that interested me. So I think I'm just going to... the time to head out? I was gonna take when I can. If it's on the way, sure. If not, I'll probably just leave it be. Okay, so shall we get going to Starlight Rise? Sure, time to fly. Yeah, let's go. So, what now? <laughs> oh, you get to fly. Up you go. Something wrong? Of course not. Come on. You're supposed to be a fearless oh, warrior, it's a right? Snug, I'll manage. Oh shit! Oh. 
Hold on back there. Starlight Rise is just across the water. I guess we'll see if this living ancestor has something to do with my missing people. Look, once we get into the ruin, we might find data that your focus model isn't able to make sense of. I'm sending you an update so you'll be able to see what's going on. Oh, thanks. Nice. You sure seem at ease with the focus. Is that why your tribe made you an outcast? No, not exactly. They cast me out when I was born. In fact, everything I've done, including learning to use a focus, was uh, in spite of them. Sounds familiar. It gets easier, you know. What? Clinging to the back of a sunwing? <laughs> that too. Just worry about steering this thing, okay? Sure. Okay, where exactly? Ah, this is still an area uh, I have explored. So I don't think. I think there were some data points alongside here or something like that that I came across. So it shouldn't be anything new. Maybe some blim shine. Uh, looks like that's where we need to head. And again, if not, I can check for data points of screen. And I don't need to worry about the main quest or side quest that I'm doing. Down on the beach. Those are some of our missing scouts. It looks like there's a lot of construction on the hillside. That's what Diviner Vi saw. Let's try to retrace their steps then. I'll set us down. All right. Uh, is that actually? Oh, aerial capture. What might repairing it reveal? Okay, this is what exactly? I'm not hunting rounds. Errands? Main? Ah, collectibles. Okay. We have the shelter. There's a rollback. Not exactly. Don't worry. It's okay. Just hang on. <laughs> Is this gonna be this similar with? There's corrupted data on it, and it's linked to a flight path. Maybe if I follow its trail, my focus can repair the data. We should get going, Aloy. I should fly to the starting coordinates up in the air nearby. Uh. Which is there. Alright, I'm gonna leave this one for maybe a different episode. I'll, I'll see off screen if it's a collectible I can do off screen. But I'm assuming this is kind of like the Vista point. What about our mission? On it. Miss me? Let's just go. <laughs> but also, let's just say, like some of the people on the beach, well, is it here or? I'm not seeing anybody here. Okay, I'm assuming. Yeah, all right, here. Solid ground. Thank the ancestors. Okay, we should follow your people's trail. See if we can figure out why they were here. Looks like they left some equipment behind. The ballista? All right. Wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of this. Quen Navy weapon. We use them to build rope bridges and perimeter defense. Of course. Can There's I... nothing for my pole caster to latch on to. 
And that means I can get up here manually. All right. Is that a snap? No, clamber jaw. All right. The ballista tore straight through the machine's armor. This bolt looks pretty sturdy too. My people had to fight while they built all this, but they kept going anyway. Let's stay on their trail. Okay, there's a campfire over there. I'm assuming that's gonna get activated. I had a big operation here. But why? I'm not sure. But I bet Laundra's involved. Well, looks like they set up some ladders to get up to that excavation. But the path's broken now. And we'll have to make our own way up. I mean, you did say about the ballista. Can use the bolts as climbing points. Nice. Good idea. That's enough. Heading up to take a look. Huh. Nice climber. Uh, I'll catch up to her. Okay. Uh, looks like everybody's stuck here. I think we might need. Sure. Yeah, okay. I don't think uh, this ballista has any purpose. Can I? Wait, I only shot one of these here. Right? That's. Never mind. There's a door up there across the chasm. Let's see if there's a way up. I'm assuming is there a ballista up here? Something to use? Yes, we glide. We have to check the ladder. Way up looks broken. Maybe the clamber jaws did it. Hold on! I've got an idea! What are you doing? We can use this ballista to make another path! Ah, okay. But we have to crank it up. Gotcha. That's why the wheel is here. Is the mechanism won't lock. I'll need to hold the crane in place while you shoot. Okay, so you're doing this. All right, gotcha. I thought maybe I had to bring it up, and then she's gonna. Then hold it and maybe bring it up a bit more. Uh, how many bolts That's would we need? As as Just one, I think. Should do it. Let's get climbing. Okay, letting her go. That thing was heavier than it looked. Right, you're catching up. Making progress. Yep. Yeah, right into the spooky abandoned ruin. Uh -huh. Exactly. Your people put a lot of effort into getting in here. Almost like they were after something. Or someone had a knife to their throats. We'll find your sister. Don't worry. You don't have to comfort me, you know. I'm fine. I... I want to help. Right, are we... 
We holy moly seven levels and I don't know how big these ones are ah, Wonderful right Maybe there's just gonna be like small ones and uh, quick to get through Maybe There's a data point. I hope some of them are audio. There, not okay. Londra's inner circle. This is a new category quest, the main quest. Londra's inner circle revealed. Walter Londra, the CEO of Heaven Corporation. I'm assuming that's the CEO over there. Anyway. Is right where he wants to be, front and center on the public stage. His ultra lux lifestyle is constantly on display for all to see, but his inner circle has remained off limits until now. In this exclusive scope, we're shining the light on his closest confidants. Error image data corrupted. Since they first met three years ago, Walter and his glamorous A-list wife Evelyn Day Londra have been inseparable. Except when Evelyn's fighting dinosaurs on the hollow screen, of course. The pair were spotted just two nights ago, cozying up at the Bearbacks annual gala. Cute. Londra's right hand is Jack Hoffman, ex mountaineer turned bodyguard. Jack keeps Londra safe, whatever fame takes him. But it's not just a job. Walter and Jack have been BFFs since the early days. Londra even sourced and bought an original last of its kind gas powered Marchetti Tramonto for Jack's birthday. Next is Nolan Bartenev, Londra's financial architect. Nolan's got the fun job, spending Londra's hard earned cash. Think balancing investment portfolios, funding Londra's entertainment ventures, and keeping his exclusive Pacific based yacht hub afloat. Not to mention, of course, footing the bill at Walter's fave hot gastro spot, Sevillas. Meanwhile, ambitious Riley Lee was a rising star in corporate PR, garnering rapid success with positions at Sterling Market and First Imperator, before ditching the office suit to manage Londra's publicity team. Now, she vets every social engagement, selecting the privileged few who get to rub shoulders with the genius himself. Finally. Parker Hirsch is Londra's personal aesthetics advisor, the man behind Londra's impeccable wardrobe and iconic chiseled profile. This coveted aesthetician built his career at LA's most fabulous fashion, houses and surgeries. The world has Parker to thank for the Londra look, sweeping the Og beauty scene. Ah, that was quite a read. I wonder what happened to those guys, actually. Did Londra... ...find them to come... ...on the spaceship? Or they were like, yeah, sure, see ya. Okay, we have a fire clamber jaw over here. Joss, stay alert. Bring him on. No machine stopping me. Okay, this is level five. Looks like it's just a corridor for now. Oh, I see a data point first. It's more supply chest. Sign. This is definitely Londra's old headquarters. Down there. What is that thing? Let's find out. Is that like a rocket engine? Voice log. Nice. Regarding the slipstream engine, my engineers 
tell me that even in the event of an accident, they can contain the fallout. But they don't grasp how effectively my enemies can harness public paranoia. That's the real fallout. It's a recording of Landra from before he left Earth. Oh, and another data point here. This is a, a message log. Even a congrats on the green light. We're gonna scrape mucho metal off that rock. Aged in. Ha, ah, thanks. Nice. Someone cares. Radio silence from the big guy. Ewan. Ah, Walter's busy. He reach out. Aged in. Yeah. Busy. See those gala photos from last night? Ewan. Oh yeah. That suit? That sweet potato color? Vomit. Aged in. He's completely distracted. Barely here. Off posing for paparazzi with his dino hunter trophy wife. Meanwhile, my team's been combing the asteroid belt till they get focus sick. Nights, weekends, and not and to not even get a good job, even. To be fair, your team doesn't have the option to choose between work and a red cap at with Evelyn Day. And you're still gonna get a massive commission of that whole aged in. It's not about the money, it's about respect. Eon. Mmm. Respect. You're working for the wrong billionaire, bro. Data corrupted. Eh. Is that how it goes usually? Okay. Uh, let me just get some of these supply saves. So one on the other side. So that one I got. I believe wasn't there another one. Been brutal to excavate. Ah, okay. I think that's all the supply caches for now. Oh, well, not exactly supply cache. The beam shine. All right. Uh, let's see what's this about. It's a prototype for a rocket engine. It never got off the ground. The way it was designed made it too dangerous. Dangerous how? Um, like it would poison everything in a thousand mile radius if it got used. Oh. Let's keep moving. So this engine, it was for traveling to the heavens? The diviners say the ancestors could do that. Yeah. Landra launch ships into space to search for resources. But why dig all this out now? We should keep following the trail. Okay. That's a good question. Unless I have a theory that might be completely wrong. Is he trying to find asteroids or something or I don't know to Try to intercept Nemesis on its way to Earth. And just launch an asteroid. So I'm assuming Nemesis is coming to Earth in a, some kind of ship as well. Right? I don't know, that's a wild thing that I just said. Okay, is there anything... Ah, uh, that's the slipstream. Project slipstream. Final report. Executive summary. Our engineering team has made great strides in developing a prototype nuclear thermal rocket that can provide significantly more thrust than traditional liquid-based boosters. There's little doubt that our proprietary designs for miniature fission reactors would eventually result in cheaper, smaller, and more efficient engines capable of achieving launch velocity for significant payloads. That said, our radiation shielding is insufficient to protect the environment from large-scale exposure to fallout. Estimates suggest that upon launch, the current model 
could contaminate a radius of up to a thousand miles at lethal levels, depending on wind conditions. The work required to reach comprehensive regulatory targets for shielding would almost certainly be cost prohibitive. For that reason, the board has determined that the project should be cancelled effective immediately. I'm assuming uh, is data corrupted. Okay, so this was 765. Gotcha. So small levels. Right, we continue onwards. This way, I'm assuming. Uh, just a cache over here. Uh, is this a supply box that... No, okay. In a different room. Take up. Let me. Thank you. Whew. Getting hot in here. Oh. The room is split in two. When pressed on. Oh no. Well. Please tell me that's not your... Sister. Crushed. Looks like some kind of construction accident. This was Lena from the galley. We weren't exactly friends. She didn't deserve to be worked to death. How could an ancestor do this to my people? Knowing Londra and his kind, I can't say I'm surprised. We better find a way up and across. We'll need to make a path. Yeah, all right, I see it. I have to use the body stop. Oh. Didn't I see... Ah, it's way up there. Another ballista. Maybe we can use it. I'll shoot this time. All right. By all means. Okay. I made you a handhold in the bridge there. Try and get to that ballista further up. Think you can make the jump? I can reach it. Should be fine, right? Uh oh. Ah, wonderful. Keep them still, and I'll shred it with the ballista. Okay. Just don't shred me. Yeah. True. To fire at you? I guess. Let me guess, you won? You were fast. <laughs> All right. All done. Cool. Let me just look around here, Seika. And looks like it's just some scrap piles. Any data points by any chance? It's a chest, but it's way over there. Can I get to it? Or is this a case that I can just pull it to me? I gotta get closer. Looks like that's the idea. Really? How much closer do you want me to go? Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, looks like I need to... 
like this. Oh, fiddlestick. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, I think I'm dead. Or not. That was close. I picked the wrong angle to drop down. Here actually. Now I kinda need this yeah to give me the the berries. I'm hearing more machines. Here, like in a weird way or something. Or is this gonna be a case of try to pull the chest down? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the angle. Like, yeah, ah. I guess maybe after we get down here. Yeah, there's a chest there, which I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Right, now what? to get there okay never mind this is gonna hurt let's see if I can avoid the lava Ooh, nice I think I saw the path she made for us yeah all right To use the ballista. That's what okay, she meant. The ballista. Time to return the favor. Make a path over here. No need to yell. I've uh, tapped you into my focus. Whoa. <laughs> uh, hi. Hi there. There is a uh, brim shiny so, chunk. <clears throat> how about those climbing points? Yeah, on it. Nice job. One. That's enough to get me to the first ledge. And a two. Should be fine, right? Okay. Now to get up there. Can I use this ballista? Yes. For what? Ah. Let's see where this leads. Watch out, more clamber jaws. Yep, I, I was about to say. My turn to shred the machines. Yep. Oh, you think you can do better than me? We'll see. Got it. Help that from here. Hey, okay, that one is out. Another great angle. But let's see if we can. That's all of them. And, nice. Uh, I think I just set a new ballista record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you're a decent shot. Now, last climb. You heading up? Uh, but uh, looks like I need to use this ballista. So I can have an angle. Fire there. Last bit. Where exactly am I? Am I? So this is number four. Uh, 
And that means... Can I? Hmm. I can. Right. Should be able to reach it from here if I glide. Think you can make it? Oh, just watch me. Yeah, I'm already here. Took a bit of a shortcut. Otherwise, I would have needed to do all that climbing she did. And there's the campfire. Besides loot, anything else? I guess, yeah, I can. If I want to get to the Dream Shine over there. And the chest. Wow. You sure have an eye for shiny things. <laughs> and I guess in the end I did take part of her Climbing route. I think that should mostly be everything. Just this one. Okay, through here. No. Okay, this is just a random scrap pile. One lava filled chasm conquered. You did pretty well back there. We're uh, not a bad team. Glad you think so. I always wanted a sidekick. Okay, I see how it is. After you? Can't open doors without your sidekick, huh? Just giving <laughs> you a chance to shine. Oh, of course. All right, let's see where my people's trail leads. Okay, keep an eye out for any data points. Not seeing any. All of this is so old. What could they possibly have wanted from this place? Good and speaking of data points, looks like we have here. Faro Automated Solutions upped their orders for six different non-terrestrial minerals this month. Our inventory is running low. What are you up to, Ted? Promising new project? Or just another monument to yourself? Hmm. I wonder if this was during the period that he was funding Zero Dawn. And needed extra resources. And another voice log. The uh, doubters whined that the city would never sell its precious landmark. The price was indeed <laughs> astronomical. But the observatory could have no better steward than I. Perfect headquarters for one whose vision extends to the stars. Right, yeah, to the stars. Then there's a new read data point, free and clear. Right, from HGSC Legal. Robert Gannon to Walter, Walter Londra. Subject, free and clear. Walter, great news. Our lobbying efforts finally paid off and the legislature paced, passed our bill prohibiting further litigation regarding the observatory. So, after nine years, 14 community-based claims, seven state suits, a class action and a congressional investigation 
not to mention a spectacular 3 billion renovation. There is no longer any pending legal action surrounding, surrounding our magnificent headquarters. Maybe now people can just relax and meditate on what they should have known all along. That this historic landmark is in much better hands than it ever was with the public. I sent you a case of Shoals Reserve 18 to celebrate. Think of all the protesters as you, as you pour yourself a glass, then savor the smoky taste of victory. Best, Bob. Okay, sorry for the sudden quiet moment over there. Just uh, had a sneeze incoming all of a sudden. And it was quite a few of them. All right, so this was the HQ. It's just these three data points out here. Uh, some chest as well. Oh, hey, Seiko. Oh, so these loops here. Alright, so this is actually the way to go. Damn it. Another one. Is that your sister? No. Crushed by rubble. Maybe when digging this out. I think his name was Kira. They couldn't even give him a proper burial. Aloy, up the stairs. I see a data point over there already. Aero Daily Chat, Walter Londra. Aero Daily. The acquisition of Ophelia, the first heaven asteroid, is the stuff of legend. Often referred to as one of the riskiest bets in the history of American business. Can you talk to me about your mindset leading up to that moment? Walter Londra. It was simple, really. I saw that my competitors were hung up on all the post-acquisition obstacles. Government approval, orbital permits, how to print the mining rigs, getting the materials back to the surface. The list goes on and on. But I knew all those things would fall in place once the rock was on its way to Earth. Air daily. So we just reached out and took it. Walter Lodra. Exactly. Ophelia was pretty far out when we gave it a push. I knew it would take six months to reach Earth orbit, but once it was on its way, everyone had a deadline. And the gains went from theoretical to tangible. It's amazing how fast all the regulation and third parties fell into place once it became clear that 4,000 tons of precious ores were sailing through the heavens, right into our hands. Scientists say that gravity rules the solar system, but greed is a powerful force too. Ah, uh, indeed it is. Indeed it is. That's why we're all in this BS right now. Oh, I guess I need to pry open. I'll put this to good use. A weapon. Nice All right. I'll get a good trade for this. Okay, brimshine. That's the one I just read. Looks like that's a dead end. Another coin camp. Where have they all? Oh. Oh, what? It's a mural. Paint to buy a Quinn? Yeah. Ah, that's the main so. way. Why would they leave this here? Doesn't matter. Keep moving. If you say so. There's a scroll here. And this door is closed. Let me guess, this is gonna be the exit then. Alright. 
exhausted uh, parchment. Quen script written in a barely legible shaky hand. The past days of blood, sweat, tears, my hands shaking. Reaching this inner was a pain much due to the ruin excavated lest the place came crashing down. Dina in a collapse, he ordered us where she fell day and night, reached this place, the others exhausted. Zet was never seen him lose his temper, I'm assuming. We've all been waiting, but is it enough? Or is there more that Walter Londra will demand of us? Uh, uh, yeah, some of these words I just added. I'm assuming that's what he says. Okay, this is, well, level one, by the looks of it. Next up is the exit. Or, this might oh. have been mission control for Londra's space mining operations. Quite a display. Yeah, let's see what we can find. So that's the solar system. All right. But nothing else in terms of loot or anything. Ah, there's one level above. There's Earth. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, si uh, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and... Ah, there's no Pluto? Come on, guys, really? Or is it... No, I think there should be... Yep, there it is. He's about to say, come on, guys. Locked with a code. We'll need a way through. Maybe there's something on these consoles. Okay, we activated. And I'm assuming... So that's where we came from. Okay, first console. Looks like we can access the hologram from here. Huh, there's data here. Let me see what I can access. A lot is corrupted, but it looks like some logs survived. I might be able to play them. I found Evelyn in the control room, rooting through the logs for Alondra's passcode. Not sure how she got past security, but yeah. She's not doing so good. Just kept banging on Londra's door, begging him to save her. I told her he was gone, but she just kept wailing. I had to drag her out. That was the last recording. Everything else is from before 2065. How many logs did you find? Three. No, four. Four entries, four digits. The recording said this Evelyn was looking in the data for the code. Let's try to find it. Okay. It looks like I unlocked another console. Let's see with this one. This display is an archive for Londra's asteroid missions over the years. It looks like I can navigate it with my focus, so I'm not tied to the console. Okay. Playing the first log. Uploading it to your focus too for reference. 2050, a year of triumph. That first mission silenced a thousand naysayers. When we acquired the asteroid, they held their breath. When we returned with the wealth of planets, they came crawling, hats in hand. Ah, that flight will always be dear to me, and to history.
2050. See those rocks floating around the earth? I see data on them with the focus. Let's increase the year. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the Ophelia? year the log mentioned, but there are two numbers. Which one is for the code? He mentioned the flight. Sounded like it was pretty special for him. Must be the flight number then. Yeah, that could be the first digit of the code. Not a bad start. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next log. All right, yeah, so... That would be a three. Okay, let's hear the next one. Accessing it now. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. What a great guy. No year in this log, just a mention of platinum. Hmm. So it's not the four or seven. Gotcha. No data in that one. Uh, lithium. All right, so I think we need to look for a platinum. Oh, platinum. This must be the right mission. But which number? Not sure. I'll replay the audio log. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. Hmm. I don't think it's the flight number this time. Yeah. yeah. The log mentioned the amount of platinum. So it's Figured. a two. Out? Think so. Let me know when you're ready for the third one. Uh, which year are we? 2055. Ready. Okay, here it comes. Uh, the accident has disturbed the ants, lawyers and publicists swarming to do damage control, carping about incalculable losses. Now what they don't see is that each death is a lesson in complacency, inspiring us to future excellence. He doesn't see his workers as people, does he? But yeah, let's increase the year and which asteroid will this be? That one. It's corrupted. On to the next. Wonderful. Lawyers and privacy swarming to do. Okay, next one. Nothing of uh, mention. Wonderful, corrupted as well. There's no mention of year or metal. We're looking for an accident involving miners. This one mentions miners. Okay. Eight people lost their lives and Laundra shrugged it off like it was nothing? I'll leave it to you to pick the right number. So... Each death. So it should be eight. Well, we've got three digits. Just one more to find. Guess we'll know for sure when we plug them all in. Ready for the next log. So what is three seven eight? Let's hear it. Playing it now. 
My chief competitor tried to block me in Congress, but I'll have that cobalt no matter how many years it takes to dig out. Zhao Lu Lunar Resources can stay on the moon. Everything else belongs to me. Okay, I think I know what to look for. All right, one second. There, I uploaded the last of the logs to your focus. Thanks. As soon as I find the last number, I'll enter the full code upstairs. Or, wait, was it three to wait? There's nothing on that one. The fourth log mentioned both Cobalt and the Zhao Lu Lunar Company. So we need a mission log with both. Yep. Okay, not that one. This should be the last year. No. Oh. That one. The fourth log mentioned both Cobalt and the Zhao Lu Lunar Company. So we need a mission log with both. Yeah, yep. you got gotcha. Not on that one. So that's eight. Titania. No, nope, no mention of the that farm. Okay, where are you, Astrid? Ah, never mind. That corrupted. Xiaolu and Cobalt. This must be it. Okay. No matter how many years. So it's five. So three, two, eight, five. Let's see if I uh remember it correctly. You actually nice. did it. Perfect. This must have been Laundra's living quarters. Right at the center of where he worked. Let's see what we can find. That relic. Is it some sort of old gun? Well, it is a gun. A gift from a so-called friend. A reminder to always watch your back. I wonder what that's about. Uh, what's this for? Hold up. What was the... Data point for it? From Jack. Walter, my contact in Botswana says Black Rhino numbers are approaching the threshold. The regs are trying to keep it hush. So we've got first dibs as soon as light's green. Wanted to give you this to you in person, but Evelyn's got an early call on set. Don't worry, all seems above board with her co-star so far, but I'll ke keep a close eye on her. Happy birthday, man, Jack. Okay, nice. Yeah, what is this? It's some kind of award, I think. Landra's wife was pretty well known in her time. Strange he'd keep this around. It sounded like they weren't on the best of terms at the end. Love can make it hard to let go. Any data point on that one? Nope. Looks like no. Anything else that you found, Seika? All right. Security logs for the facility. That's a recent entry. <laughs> I'm growing impatient, Nova. Data retrieval is almost complete. I've primed the North Array for beamcast. And you're acquiring everything from aeronautics and special ops, yes, including the files on MSP. Correct. There. Ready for transmission. 
It's a shame we have to revive that particular program, though. <sighs> no, fine. Darling, we have a very difficult task ahead of us. We can't afford to go soft. Uh, reduce your empathy matrix by 15%, please. Adjusted. Wonderful. Now transmit the files immediately so we can get the hell out of here. This place feels like a goddamn tomb. Damn. What was all that about? The North Array sounds like a transmitter. If we can find it, maybe we can track Landra to whatever hole he crawled into. Sure. But what did he come back for? I'll explain later. Let's find a way out. Okay. But I'll hold you to that. Uh, right. That should be the hologram. Okay, seems Aloy. Oh. Uh, ah, this is from the missile control. Second digit. Third. Ah, oh, this incident report. Yeah, already well, heard that one. And this is like all of them. I guess I could have maybe just checked the uh, the notebook or the digit. Didn't have, didn't need to go through the list. Anyway. Anything else? Nope. Oh, hold up. There is a safe here. Aloy, can we readjust? Thank you. And this door should be available. And there is a new data point over there. Prospero incident from AHC SecCom Albers. Members of a splinter cell, possibly an offshoot of the defunct Purity Action Europe group. They had operatives among the miners, along with the shuttle pilot. All were eliminated while attempting to disable our automated defense but I hate to think of what might have happened if they have managed to destabilize Prospero's orbit simulations show that they could have successfully targeted Oslo Copenhagen or Stockholm we obviously need additional protection so maybe it's time to take another look at MSP please send me everything you have on the last set of trials including the data corrupted oh Okay, never mind. I thought we had to pry this one open as well. Okay, transmitter should be somewhere nearby. That big statue looks promising. Those machines are in our way. Gotta clear them out. You mean that statue over there? Where did we end up? Okay, on the north side. Hey, one down. Nah, I missed with that one. They're out as well. It should be. Oh, really? Wasn't there a third, third one? Oh, there he is. Actually, there's a fourth one. Damn, alright. He went kablooey. Ah, 
man, that was a bad miss. Tactical advantage. I like it. Okay, now we should be done with all the machines, right? Uh, never mind. There's another queen hawk over there. Uh, these guys just keep spawning, or what's going on? Get this done. Okay. More Show me your belly. Ah, alright. So, they just keep coming for a while. Sunwing and I'm out of ammunition. Ugh, you sure know how to handle that weapon. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about yourself. Let's try to see if there's any apex around here. Stay shocked and just craft. Should be going down. Yeah, okay, nice. I think that's the last of them. Now let's take a look at that statue. For that now, we have answers. Well, I have a feeling more are gonna spawn. in that hologram back there and why exactly did Londra come here and what is he doing with my people he used them to dig up this place to find some old data part of it has to do with something called MSP which I've never heard of before but the rest I think he's trying to build a ship to get off this world and into the stars off this world? Why would anyone want to do that? There's something you're not telling me. Oh, you're just like a diviner, full of secrets. Oh yeah? Well, what about you? The way you reacted to that mural back in the ruin? <sighs> Care to explain? Fine. I guess we'll both hold our tongues for now. All right, look, the important thing is that we know where Londra went, and that's probably where he took your people and your sister. You're right, of course. I should report back to the Admiral before we go any further. I'll use the boat we saw from the air to return. Okay, I'll find you there later. Hmm. So I guess next time I'm gonna find out what's, what was with the mural. 
Okay. Oh, what did I? Oh. Really fired up. Telling her about Nemesis. I. I can't do that to her. Not now. Not when she's worried about her sister. It, it's too much of a burden, right? For now, maybe I should focus on stocking up. I can meet Seika when it's time to pick up Laundra's trail. Sure. Kind of the game's way of saying can do some side stuff and whatnot. Okay, right. Uh, that's back there. This was a blast thing, but I already have one. I don't think it's gonna replace anything. And this one skills three of them. This one are just two. Sure, I'll get the part breaker. Oh no. And then data points should be just the ones I haven't read. Yeah, alright. Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. I'm gonna see with this aerial capture of screen and of course check more around here if there's any data points I've missed and whatnot and then I guess maybe we continue with the main quest or maybe I'll we'll do the ruins we'll see for now hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys and I'll see you next time but as always don't forget to take care